Today we're talking about Find That Lead, a lifetime deal on AppSumo. But before we do, make sure you drop by FHP. That's Funnel Hacker Pro, FHP.io. I do un unbiased, honest app reviews. We have lots of LTDs that we run ourselves. Like right now, you can see we're running Actionable Me, which really works good with Find That Lead. And I'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, exclusive marketing and mindset and sales videos, list building, cold outreach, and all kind of stuff, man. Make sure you drop by FHP.io. That's Funnel Hacker Pro. Let's get into Find That Lead. Uh, Find That Lead is not new to AppSumo. Ran, I think, last year this time, somewhere around this time last year. Um, and Gerard is the uh, developer, the owner, guy out of Spain. Um, and he's real um, passionate about find that lead and, you know, just basically um, talking about leads or whatever. Now, um, if you want to know, do I use it? And the answer is yes, I do use find that lead sometimes. Uh, and you can see that I have lots of searches here um, looking for specific um, CEOs or whatever. You can't just depend on find that lead but you will find a lot of stuff uh, by using this, right? So from what I'm understanding now, you do have campaigns, so now you can send out emails with Find That Lead, which is really cool, that's new. Um, this Snap thing is new, I don't understand, I don't even know what that is, whatever. Um, it scans a business card, okay, that's pretty cool, that's new. Uh, and then you can upload in bulk and do bulk processing and search for leads or whatever, and then you could do a domain search with broke uh, uh, email verifier, which is cool. Uh, the social URL search, company search, so on and so forth. Now, how I use this myself is I just came in and I would uh, just do basically uh, do a, um, a new list here and I would just say whether I wanna find with location or the company size or the company name. Usually I use the job title or the company industry and uh, and then you move on, right? So let's just say you use company uh, industry and then you continue on here and then you can type by industry. So let's just say that we want to um, find someone in sales, right? That's one and the next one can be marketing or let's just say machinery, that's cool. Machinery, right? So let's take machinery and do that, right? So you can do that and then you can set the name as machinery or whatever. And then you can also, you could have looked in machinery for New York, right? But here you can see what those look like. Now, what's gonna happen is, it's gonna say, do you wanna generate these lists? So before you use your credit, it's gonna say, we're only gonna charge you for the emails we find. I wanna let you see what that looks like, okay? So here's after what it looks like after you generate a list, right? And so these, they don't really charge you for these. The ones that are 99% sure, that's when they charge you a credit, right? Now, to give you an idea, I don't email anybody that's under an 80 or like an 85, right? I just don't, if, you know, if it says 70 or something like that, these 10%, I don't even email these people. Let me see if I can find any that look like that. Um, I don't see anything right now. Let me see if I can find any. See like this 78%, I won't email that person when I'm collecting up these leads, okay? So um, this, like the 67% down here, I'm like, nah, I probably won't do that, right? So once I do my research or whatever and I decide to say, okay, this could be their email addresses, then I'll export this list and I'll clean it myself by trying to um, to see if, you know, do an email verification. But you see that they have their own email verification. As far as find that lead goes, let me give you my own um, honest review. Like a walkthrough, it's a pretty simple software to use. It's not hard to figure out. Um, you go out and you do, you know, you start a new list here and you can say, like I said, go company, company industry and go by location, right? And then you continue on. It's gonna say type of city or town. It's pretty simple, like, okay, so I wanna do New York, okay? And you can type in even Los Angeles, right? And then you continue on and then you type your industry. So let's do machinery again. All right, and then you continue on and this is New York machinery. You can set it for any name you want to. And you say you've reached the maximum number of lists in the prospect. I mentioned delete one or continue without saving. So I'll continue without saving here. 
Uh, and then uh, it's just going to go do your search. It's going to take a minute to do this search for what it's looking for. And then there it is. Now, your next job is, okay, so it found 2,978 leads. And what it's going to say is, do you want me to generate these emails, right? So you can come through here and you can check and say, no, I'm not interested in this because this guy here, you know, this guy's a student. So he's probably not what I want to talk to. So let me take him off the list. And this chef in private dining, he's not what I want to talk to. I don't want to talk to an attorney. You get my point, right? So you can click through and see, like, what do I want to, you know, if these people are like actual like people that I want to talk to and in the area that I want to talk in, are they in the area that I want to be in? Like he might not want to talk to anybody that's in Schenectady. Um, and this guy's a driver. So you probably don't want to talk to him. Right. And so then at that point you generate the emails It's going to tell you the percentage of whether they think the emails are good or not. You down your, down your download your list or here you can even start up a campaign with those leads. I'm guessing. Right. Um, I don't know if I would use this myself. I would probably use something more off. Like I have um, an app out and call it actionable me, which would work great with this. Um, this is an LTD um, and you would take that list of leads and bring it over here. This is an uh, LTD that I'm running right now. And you would take this and use actionable me by uploading that list into, you know, like a mail shake or this or uh, limb list was another thing that AppSumo ran before. If you don't have any of that, here's a lifetime deal right now. It's uh, 99 bucks, unlimited users, unlimited accounts, yada, 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 right? So, of course, I'm going to just throw in this quick little plug for my own company. Come over to FHP and check it out. But anyways, you would put it to something like Actionable Me, and then you would, you know, cold email them. Now, obviously, uh, when you're cold emailing, I want to just say this, that you need to throw in personalization, right? Don't just take it from find that lead drop it into here to do a campaign and not in add in any personalization, which again, which is what actionable me is really good about, right? It does personalizations uh, and you can add in, Hey, uh, Alex, I know that you uh, worked in machinery uh, with my dad at, you know, Lockheed or something like that. And also, and you can add in as many of those custom things that you want to add in on your C, uh, your uh, CSV file, your spreadsheet. And once you upload that, you get those personalizations, right? And that's what I think you should make sure you do when you're using this. These, th this is a really good tool. And while I was prospecting, um, when I do prospect every month, I do about 100 emails a month of personalized e emails. I never ran through my AppSumo credits for find that lead, but I'm gonna be buying another one myself. It's a good thing to have laying around when you wanna find some leads. I don't know if they're doing any stacking or anything like that, but it is a good thing to have around when you're out looking for leads, you wanna to try to verify some email addresses, or if you just wanna prospect and find some shit that you haven't been you know, looking for, it's really easy to use. But what I want you to understand is that also using find that lead in conjunction with uh, angel list or in conjunction with LinkedIn is just a good tool to have overall inside of your toolbox, but it's not going to be your end all to end all prospecting tool, right? But it is a good tool to have. And he's been building on it for a while now. This is not his first trip to AppSumo. He's been building on it. He's really active in the community. He does take a lot of feedback. He's a cool dude from what, I'm, from what I understand. He's, uh, I've never had any problems with the dude, so I'm like, I don't have anything bad to say about him, right? I'm just giving you an overall overview of the company because I know some of you guys really get into like, what's the company about? Well, he's been around for a minute. He's built up a team. He has a nice team. He's in uh, Spain, and he's really active with like uh, the actual tool. Like when I got in here, to be honest with you, I didn't, under, I didn't realize that he made any changes to the UI. It used to be a left-hand navigation thing and he's changed the navigation around and he's added some new tools in. So I don't know what you're gonna get on AppSumo, but what I will do is I'm gonna give Find That Lead a thumbs up. I think it's a good tool to have if for prospecting if you're ever looking for a new prospect, somebody new to do business with, it never hurts to get into Find That Lead and try to look for a couple thousand leads email a few hundred people and I'm pretty sure you're going to come up with a contract. Anyways, don't forget guys to hit that thumbs up. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, get more of these unbiased reviews and jump over to fhp.io. 
That's Funnel Hacker Pro and join in all the fun that's going on over there. All right, guys, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Peace.